Hello everyone. In the last video, we discussed the first step towards the CAD preparation, in which we discussed the importance of having a strong reason to pursue this preparation. Now that you know your purpose, your reason to pursue this preparation, the next thing you might be wondering about how to plan your preparation. You might be wondering about whether you should start with mock tests or whether you should start covering the basics. You might also be thinking how much time you should spend on the basics, how much time you should be uh, giving to the mocks and their analysis and what all things you should do in this next one year. So in this video, I'll be talking about the different phases of CAT preparation. I have segregated this one year into three phases and I'll be talking about all these phases in this video. When I started preparing for this exam, the initial few weeks were very challenging. I was not able to focus on studies for more than an hour. I would often get stuck in very simple questions and I often felt frustrated in the beginning. But I feel this is bound to happen because when you start anything new, the first few weeks or the first few months in that preparation can be very challenging because you are not used to doing that. So it is completely okay if you if you are slow in your preparation. It's okay to start slow, but an important point here is you need to be consistent. Even if you are studying for one hour or two hours a day, you need to do it on a regular basis. You should not do that you are studying for two days and on the third day you are not studying. So ensure that you are consistent in this preparation because this exam is more about your patience, persistence and perseverance than it is about talent. In this first phase, do not rush, cover the basics first. Make your base strong so that when you, find, when you face challenges in the coming months, you have a strong base that you can build on. So always focus on building your base uh, first. In the first few months, take the coaching material of any institute and start following LOD1 and LOD2 questions. That will help you gain confidence and that will help you eventually solve category questions. For every single topic that you study, make notes of it in your learning diary. Because in the end, when you would want to revise all the topics, you want to be in a position to uh, practice all the questions again so note down all the important formulas all the typical questions and concepts in your learning diary so that you can have a look at them every now and then and you can revise things quickly join any peer learning group for doubt clarification in this preparation there would be times when you will get stuck in any question even referring to the solution might not help in those situations so Joining a peer learning group helps you get all your answers, get all your queries answered in a very short period of time. I used this method throughout my CAT preparation and it did wonders to me and I got answers to all my queries. Not only about the CAT preparation but all the MB entrance exams in general. So you can join any peer learning group. I have also created one Facebook group uh, for the CAT talk and in which aspirants uh, discuss their queries and get answers to their queries. If you wish you can also join that. The link of which is in the description uh, of this video. One important point. If you want to be consistent, make sure that you have some daily goals. It is because if you have those goals, there are, there are high chances that you will end up achieving those goals on a daily basis. But if you don't know what you have to study in a particular day, there are good chances that you will end up thinking most of the times and you won't be able to do anything. So set daily goals every single day and these small steps will make things easier for you in the long run. About the timeline or timeline of this first phase, it is generally around 4 to 5 months. If you, if you are uh, studying for around 2 to 3 hours daily, 
you can you can complete the quant and lrdi both in two to three months and once you have covered the basics you can start solving the previous year question papers of simcats and aimcats and you can get used to the cat level questions so in this five months you will cover the basics the learnings would be only around 30 percent it is because the whatever you have practiced till now you have built only the base but those questions that you have practiced that may not match the cat level so it is okay you will learn most of the things in the second phase of this preparation mocks it is the most important phase of this preparation it is in this phase that you learn most of the things that you need to learn generally around june onwards coaching institutes start offering the proctored mocks and that's when i think aspirant should start taking mock exams now what generally happens is happened with me and happens with many other aspirants that you know in the initial few mocks we struggle we struggle because we are not used to sitting in a stretch for three hours we struggle because we have not solved uh, cat level questions till now so in the first few mocks you might fear poorly but that's when the learning begins when you analyze those mocks you get to know what are your strong areas and weak areas and that's when you work towards converting those weak areas into the strong areas through continuous analysis of the mocks every weekend you should take at least one mock and analyze it religiously before the cat exam you should take at least 30 mocks i'll talk at length about the mocks their strategy and how to analyze them at length in one of in any other video but for now just learn just know about this phase that you know from june onwards you need to start taking mocks so first four or five months cover the basics in the next four months four or five months you take the mocks analyze those mocks learn what are your strengths and weakness work on your weakness convert those uh, weakness into strengths and that's how you prepare for this exam in this third phase of this preparation the consolidation of your learning happens whatever you have learned till now you must have noted it in your revision diary from now in the last month of this preparation in the month of november you only need to revise all those concepts all those important questions by now you would have learned what are the important topics and what are not so important topics and so you need to focus more on the important topics you need to solve most of the cat level questions only so in this last month in this last phase you consolidate all the learnings of your 10 months that you gained through the basics and through the mocks and their analysis you consolidate all those learnings and make sure that you are able to recall all these things quickly during the exam so in this way you fully prepare for the exam so finally i want to reiterate some hygiene factors in this preparation the very first being that you need to be consistent throughout as i say that this exam is more about patience persistence and perseverance than it is about talent so please make sure that you stay consistent throughout this preparation the second point is do not ignore any one section if you feel that lrdi is a weak part and you don't feel like practicing it still practice it because if you are not able to score at least 80 percentile in any one section the 99 percentile in any other section is of no use the third thing is make a learning diary so that you can quickly revise whatever you want to revise and the fourth point is uh, join peer learning groups because that will help you uh, get answers to your all queries related to this exam or any other at the entrance exams the fifth point is do not uh, delay in taking mocks okay from june onwards uh, uh, now right now it is january so you have around five six months to prepare cover the basics so do that in that time and from june onwards make sure that you start taking mocks the final thing and the most important one do not give up Whenever you feel low or demotivated in this preparation, take a break and rejuvenate yourself and come back stronger. But do not give up. There should never be a choice. That's all I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you liked it.
in the next video i'll be talking about one very frequently asked question and that is can i prepare for the cat exam without any coaching or is coaching mandatory for this exam and if it is mandatory when should i join this coaching and which coaching should i join i'll be taking i'll be talking about these points in the upcoming video so stay tuned thank you have a great day